1999 tornado outbreak, there was a story about uh, an elderly lady that had three dogs, and she went to her community shelter, and the rules were you couldn't bring your pets to the shelter. And she loved those dogs, and she turned around and took her dogs and went home, and she died in that storm. And it, that, but it becomes one of those management things. I mean, what if somebody brings a mean dog and decides to chew on everybody's leg while they're in there? What if somebody brings a big snake? What if somebody brings birds? What if you let those animals in and they start fighting it within the shelter? And there's a lot of things to really think about, but it's, you know, and it's all of it. It's not that that you can let animals in because they take up space, obviously, but then you've got somebody that is so dedicated to them that said, you know, if my dogs aren't welcome, I'm not welcome either. And that was her choice. But unfortunately, she lost her life over it. So, and I tell people that story when they talk about opening up shelters to the community that you gotta think about those things. And you got to be prepared to deal with that stuff, uh, because more than likely, it's something like that, you know, can happen. So community shelters are great, but you just really got to understand what you're stepping into. The community shelters in small communities, you know, some small communities they could give a key to everybody in the in the town, you know, to make sure that they can get into the shelter. But when you start getting into large municipalities, unfortunately that doesn't work quite so well. So, you know, there are a lot of things that come along with just the operation of that shelter um, that really need to be thought through.